There are mainly three ways to determine the design peak flow, the flow we use to size the pipes. This simple two-question flow chart will help you choose the adequate approach. First question, will there be queues? That may be the case of refugee camps and emergencies. If yes, use an old taps open approach. Count the number of taps and multiply by a flow figure. I like 0.2 liters per second. Now, I hate this approach as it wastes people's time and in many cases, and especially those of gravity flow systems, a little extra investment could go a long way in letting them gain control over what they do in their day. Not to mention other problems. The next question is, will a minimum diameter of pipe be installed? For example, all pipes except house connections are going to be at least 63 millimeters. This requires a little explanation. Take a family of four with 80 liters per person. Their average flow is 0.0037 liters per second, and that would lead to a tiny pipe. But the taps are not on all the time. When they're used, they're used in full, 0.2 liters per second. To use a car analogy, it would be like building a 10 centimeter wide road because of the average traffic. You do need a full width road when the car does pass. That is why house connections are at least 20 millimeters in diameter. So, if no minimum diameter is installed, we use a simultaneity approach. We would take the average flow and multiply it by a coefficient that corrects it to a more realistic figure. With just one tap, it's either on or off, but as more houses are connected, each of them with their taps either on or off, a more accurate picture of the peak flow starts to emerge and the simultaneity coefficient gets smaller. For 100 houses, for example, you would multiply by 7. But there's a practical problem with using simultaneity. The mass is no longer conserved, and physics and most modeling software require mass conservation. In other words, the water is neither created nor destroyed inside the pipes. Take this fork system. Different numbers of house connections lead to different simultaneity coefficients for each pipe. The flow of pipe A is no longer the addition of B and C. The solution is to install a minimum diameter and move on to a time varying approach. Those pipes with less house connections are covered by the minimum diameter. For the rest, we measure or plot how water is consumed throughout the day and design for the peak flow. The peak flow is usually between two and three times the average flow. We would also add weekly and monthly variations. When you add up these variations, you end up with a peak flow typically in the range of 3.5 to 4.5 times the average flow. When finding this point in the simultaneity graph, it gives around 250 connections. The minimum diameter pipe has to be able to supply the flow for more or less these connections. 100 mm is the better choice, but it can be brought down to 63 mm for poor contexts. This does away with the tedious calculations, allows for computer programs to be used, and brings many other benefits like better fire protection, less blockages, and more flexibility. So there you have it, the two-question flowchart for choosing your design approach.